Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited now. Uh, I promised you another video, and here it is. Where I'm at right now on the painting is I'm in the process of still doing the Verdaccio, the underpainting, the, the green-gray valued underpainting that has to be there for, for the foundation of the painting. Now, let's recap what I did before. I started off with that big, huge, white canvas, very large, white, scary canvas, and I had to transfer the picture that we took of your family onto this large camera, this canvas. So what I had to do was create a grid system and that told me where to put everybody into this larger canvas. So once I did that, then I started to draw on that canvas who and what was going to be on that painting. So I used charcoal as opposed to pencil. Charcoal absorbs into the paint, pencil does not. So we want it to absorb and go away and not be seen anymore. So uh, these old master guys knew what they were doing. So we, we did the whole drawing on the canvas in charcoal, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, how we wanted it as much as we could, you know, the values and everything, the lights to darks, uh, as well as we could with charcoal. It's kind of like doing it with crayon. It doesn't, doesn't work that well. But we got as much detail as I possibly could with the charcoal. And then from there, I started working on this Verdaccio uh, study of light and dark onto the canvas. And the cool thing about this is that this is painstaking. This is taking a long time, and I know you're getting excited and you're wondering what's going on, but here's, what, here's the deal. It's, this is setting up everything I've done up to this moment. The grid, the charcoal, now the verraccio, everything up until this moment is to give a firm foundation for the painting. Uh, the cool thing is, is that when I go and glaze over this shirt in blue, it's going to have the perfect blue and the perfect amount of shading in the proper order, the proper shading in that blue. These old masters knew what they were doing, I promise. So the cool thing about that is the color will go fast on this process once I get there. And I'm about two weeks away from that. Um, the only thing that I'll have to actually paint on top of my underpainting will be the flesh tones. And the flesh tones will go fairly easy as well uh, because I'll just have to follow a value 5 green-gray Verdaccio to my number 5 flesh color. This is the palette that the old masters would use. Not this one particular, but um, one like it. They would go from light to dark in their values and they would do the verdaccio, their grays, their flesh tones, all on this palette. And that's what I'm doing. Right now I just have the verdaccio on here and it's a little bit messy because I've been a little busy. So from there it would be very easy to take the flesh color and match it up to the flesh, the verdaccio that I have here. Almost like paint by number, but not really. <laughs> exactly like, like it, only different.
I hope you're getting excited. I know I am. And I look forward to talking to you soon.